Police say the driver ran a red light, killing two people. News 6's Vanessa Ariza joins us now live. And Vanessa, police say the man had drugs in his system when this happened on Valentine's Day. That's right, Lisa. Through blood testing, they found THC and caffeine. And also, when a police was, or when a police officer was speaking with that suspect, he said that he could smell marijuana on him. Now, it's his actions on Valentine's Day morning that landed him here at the Orange County Jail. It was around Club Lit in downtown Orlando the morning of February 14th, where it all began. According to this police report, a witness told a nearby officer they saw people in a black Honda wave an AK-47 at others before driving away from the nightclub. The officer called for backup to follow the car. City cameras caught the driver speeding through several streets in the downtown Orlando area. At one point, driving the wrong way and running through red lights. It was here at this intersection where police say Alexander Francis hit the driver's side of another vehicle. That crash resulted in the death of two people. According to the police report, immediately after the crash, the driver of the Honda got out, the AK-47 in hand, and hit it near a fence. He then went back to the car and waited for police. That gun was later recovered and reported stolen. Now, almost three months after the deadly crash, Francis has been charged. He went before a judge today. And that judge sent Francis's bond just under $11,000. Now, coming up tonight at 6 o'clock, you'll hear what Francis told police and his explanation for everything. It is a stark difference than what is in that police report. Lisa? Vanessa Ariza reporting live for us. Thank you.